Officers are going to pass to the camera to collect any items you would like to discard. So every day I make waffles for breakfast. That's something that everybody eats all the time. This video is gonna be how I make my electric waffle. The electric diet is based upon how food either becomes acid in your body or alkaline in your body. Acid food in your body can cause a lot of problems like inflammation and it can also cause mucus. So mucus is something that's very detrimental to your body, your mucous membrane. The mucous membranes can contain or secrete mucus a thick fluid that protects the inside of your body from viruses and bacteria. Too much mucus can be a result of food-related inflammation. It gets compromised through the food that you eat. Now, I keep seeing a lot of people who say things like, oh, it's about changing your blood pH balance, and that's not what the electric diet is for. I don't know where that came from. I think I seen the guy that said that he does it. That's personally not why I started following this diet. <clears throat> I'm gonna start off with spell flour. Oh, the other thing is, that the diet is also based off of food that's not hybrid. Any food that has been either made in a lab or is crossbred between two other foods is something you don't want to eat because your body has a hard time processing it. And when it has that hard time processing it, it causes a lot of different problems in your body. The list that we go by as far as what's electric and what isn't, spell flour is approved on that list. It's supposed to be a non-hybrid food, a non-hybrid spell flour. Now, I bought this uh, flour a while ago. It's called Jovial, the brand, and it's pine corn flour. Now, this is supposed to be the oldest flour right now that you know you can buy. It's supposed to be even older than spell flour. And the reason that you would want it to be older is because it's less likely to have been uh, crossbred with something else. However, whenever I eat that, it tastes really good, as you may see in my Thanksgiving vlog. But I get mucus in my throat. And that's usually my rule of thumb is if I eat something, I get mucus from it. I either shouldn't be eating or I should see what about it is causing me mucus and try and take that thing out. So right now I'm just spell flour. I don't have the same problem with spell flour as far as mucus in my throat or in my nose. I don't sniffle or I have to do a little <coughs> after I eat. So now I've been going with spell flour. So spell flour. So I get two cups of spell flour. I used to add date sugar to the recipe. I stopped adding date sugar to the waffle. We have dates, like whole dates in the house. These are the ones we have in the house. And as a snack, I would just eat them sometimes. I would eat, but I noticed that I would get, I noticed it most recently after I watched a video about lectins and certain foods have lectins in them. And lectins are supposed to be the defense system for certain plants. And it's supposed to affect you negatively by eating it because obviously the plant doesn't want to get eaten. It doesn't have teeth doesn't have claws or anything like that. So it's like, hey, you know, don't eat me, right? Now, when I first started making this, I used to add agave to it as a sweetener. I felt like it was too much agave. I would add agave to it. And then after I add agave, I uh, feel like I was kind of sleepy afterwards. I feel like it was agave in it. And then I would add agave as a syrup on the outside. So I was just like, you know what? Maybe it's too much agave. I um, this is the agave that we buy, a blue, green, organic. They have a light one. Uh, I don't preferably like for this. I prefer the dark one. I feel like it's more equivalent to a syrup. The next ingredient is going to be sea salt. Your coarse sea salt, right? This one, I don't need as much. And if I put too much in it, I'll notice the difference and my waffle will be salty. It's, it's really serious. So I don't actually have a measurement for this. I just, like I said, I just sprinkle it. So I just grab a little bit, my fingertips. And then just do a little. Also, I noticed that if I make the waffles, right, without the salt, there's more mucus. Somehow the salt definitely adds flavor. You can taste the waffle more, not a lot of salt. You can taste more of the waffle. I don't know what the salt does. I don't know how, you know, culinary arts works. Next, I'm going to add the oil. This is grapeseed oil. We might use grapeseed oil, avocado oil. We used to use coconut oil. You don't want to cook coconut oil because once it hits a certain temperature, it becomes acidic. 
So that's why we don't use coconut oil to cook with. Well, we use grapeseed oil and avocado oil. I get three tablespoons of grapeseed oil. Oh, fuck. So I'm going to say that this inside here is probably like one tablespoon, and then this is two tablespoons. All right, so now just one more tablespoon. Put it in there. So I'm going to add one more tablespoon. It's a tablespoon? Yeah. Three. All right. I feel like that, I feel like whatever I spilled is probably more than a tablespoon after I just saw what I put in there. But, you know, this is sea moss gel, right? This one's a little watery. Uh, it's usually thicker than this. I usually put a tablespoon of this in there also. The video to make this, I'm gonna put it right here. Right here or right here. I don't know how this works. I never actually put a video on here. So it can be on this side or this side. Yeah. So, yeah, tablespoon of this. Now, the next thing I'm gonna add is also something that you're gonna need to have prepared before you make the waffle. This is called hemp milk. So, if we do a video up, it'll be right here. Or over here, I don't know. One of these sides, over here. I'll add two cups of hemp milk. Uh, that's one cup. Now, one thing I've learned about making waffles, which I think this is very important, so make sure you get this, this is very important. Once you stir the waffle batter, like you, let's say you don't add any water to it right now, right? You just stir this, it'll be very thick. It'll be very, very thick. Also the sea moss gel has health benefits and it also is a thickener for the waffle, right? Now, besides that, if you just pour this in, it's gonna be super thick. So the next ingredient is going to be water. We are electric on a budget. So this is our alkaline filter. Hopefully we can get some more money. I can actually get the one that goes on the counter. It's like $5,000. But right now, we just have the electric alkaline filter. This is important. The water turns this from very thick to watery very fast, depending on how much water you add in here. So and by fast, I mean you can put a little bit of water and it can become watery. Another benefit that to you know be on an electric diet is you lose fat very quickly so anybody that's trying to lose fat it pretty much falls off your body now if you want to add the food in there then obviously it's up to you but as i like to say i'm transitioning into this diet so i'm right now i'm like 99 1 or 98 2 that's pretty much it um i really only drink electric water and other thing about water is some water is not naturally electric. It's, it's electrocuted. Electric water is water that contains minerals in it that make it electric. If you just electrocute the water, it'll have a higher pH value. For example, I don't drink essential water. I only drink eternal water and Fiji water. But I'm going to add some water to this. You see how thick this is? I don't, you can't really tell. I'll put the video in slow motion so you can see how thick it is. Oh, this should probably help. Yeah, look at this. This is very thick, all right? So I'm gonna add a little bit of water, look at that. Still a lot of water left in here. Okay, starting to get a little bit more waffle battery, all right? So, add a little bit more water. So right now I'm probably at about, about half a cup and I might have added too much. I feel like me personally, I like my waffle batter to be a little bit, it's not bad. It's not that bad. To be a little thick, um, Melissa likes hers to be almost water. Everything that I used, I'm gonna put in the description box. So yesterday, I definitely said that uh, I probably shouldn't eat dates because they have lectins in them. And uh, I had some anyways. Now my throat was already sore last night. It's not as sore as it is now, at least sore at all. I definitely had a headache for a while this morning, and also, I just happened to be up in the middle of the night doing research. I didn't know this, but lectins also cause headaches. It's one of the, the defense mechanisms of the plants to help you not eat them. When I first started making waffles, I used to put all types of fruits and stuff in there. Strawberries, blueberries, raspberries. Um, I don't do it as much now. I felt like I was kind of getting sleepy with that also. 
but you know, people who are transitioning into a new diet, if you want to add some sweets to it, you can definitely add different fruits and whatnot. Yeah, that sounds crazy. I feel like I went to bed normal and woke up. I was attacked by all types of diseases. So this is a cuisine art waffle maker. For the purpose of efficiency, it has the ability to make two waffles. Because I used to make one waffle and that would take forever to make one waffle. I'll put that down in the description if you want to buy the waffle maker. So what I normally like to do is I put it on four, a little before four. And then put the waffle batter in both sides, put it in, then flip it. And when it beeps three times, let you know it's done, I'll flip it back over and turn it down so that the waffle kind of cooks evenly. So I'll probably leave it in there for like another two, four minutes after I turned it down. The way you cook your food or the way you prepare your food is one of the ways to decrease the lectin. So like if you soak it, tomatoes, take off the skin and take out the seeds. So depending on what food it is, it's probably has different ways to prepare it to make it healthier. Things you can add fruits to it, you can add different kinds of sweeteners to it, 